We're going to have a look at the monoamine theory behind depression to understand how drugs in this area work. Let's quickly have a look, remind ourselves of how the synapse works because after all what happens according to this theory is that there's not enough of a neurotransmitter. So just to remind you the action potential arrives at the nerve terminal and the depolarization then opens up voltage gated calcium channels so that now calcium can enter into the cell through these ion channels and then as a result of that the vesicles move to the membrane so these are vesicles containing neurotransmitter they fuse with the membrane and that allows the neurotransmitter to be released where it then goes across and binds to a postsynaptic receptor to produce some sort of response. So that's classically how neurotransmitters work. Now there's other things that can happen as well. So in addition to instead of binding to the receptor some of these molecules will actually diffuse back and then will be taken up by a pump. So this is a, a reuptake pump. And that reuptake pump will then pump the neurotransmitter back up and pack it back into the vesicles again. And so the reuptake pump basically removes some of the neurotransmitter from the synapse. Another thing that could happen is that after being released into the synaptic cleft, the molecule, the neurotransmitter, can bind to an autoreceptor And then the autoreceptor signals, usually via cyclic AMP, to inhibit more vesicles fusing. So autoreceptors then are a way of the molecule feeding back and preventing the release of further neurotransmitter. A third thing that can happen is that the molecule can itself be degraded by enzymes which basically take the neurotransmitter out of circulation and then completely eliminate it. So there are many points then at which we could control the monoamines. Uh, so typically what most Monoamine drugs do, such as the tricyclic antidepressants, the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, and the serotonin noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors. What they all do is they inhibit this step here. And so then the result is that the molecule of neurotransmitter instead of being retaken up, well then it's free to go and then bind to one of these molecules. So that's essentially how the monoamine theory generates drugs. And these are the most important ones, the tricyclic antidepressants, serotonin selective reuptake inhibitors, and serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors work.